Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making, um, well, my last batch of soap for the day. This is a remake, but I did not do a video of this one the first time I made it. And I'm really hoping that, I hope you can hear me. I'm really hoping that I can remember how I made this soap the first time. So, it'll be a little adventure for all of us, maybe. But, you know, I don't really worry about getting it the exact same as I had the first time because, well, one, that's a lot of pressure, and two, every batch is unique, right? And if I have low expectations, that sounds really bad to say, but if, I didn't, if I'm not, like, expecting something to turn out in a particular way, then it's not a big deal if it doesn't. Well, this is a lot smaller than I need. Okay. So this one is Kyo, is the name of this soap. This is a masculine soap. So, a little bit of white. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance. So when I make this um, soap, Everybody always says, oh, that's the Seahawk soap. This was not made intentionally to look like a sports team of any kind. So that is coincidental. If you want to say, oh, it's a Seahawk soap and you like Seahawks groovy, then I made this just for you. Um, but it was not intentionally Seahawks. I think I'm trying to figure out if that is ricing I have there or... If it, if I do think I have some ricing. I don't remember this doing this doing that last time, but okay. I'm gonna pull these out and I will stick blend this. Groovy. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a big pile in there that is definitely rice fragrance. My battery is dying. Hopefully I don't lose you. Because I would really like to get this one on video. But it's still nice and fluid, which is good because that's what I need. I need it to stay workable. Let me clean up my drips here. Grab my mold. to work. Lots of air in here now. I didn't stir that up. <laughs> I'll just stir it up in here. I mean, it's really fluid, so it's okay. All right. Much better. That actually worked, believe it or not. <laughs> So, I'm going to do a swirl here, and I know people are going to give me feedback on how I should do this. This is just how I'm choosing to do it. I know there's probably an easier and better way, and that's okay. when I do a technique, when I do a swirl, I will try it. You know, there are people who have created certain techniques, and there has been a lot of discussion lately on giving people credit for who has come up with a technique or design. And I might try 
the technique of the day or the week or whatever it may be. And, um, and then I will go and make it my own. I don't want to copy anybody and I will never copy anybody's actual soap design. I have had people copy me. I have many friends who have had people copy them. And you know what? Part of soaping is being creative. For me, this is about art as much as it is about soap. I mean, I could make, I could make soap with this recipe, just plain old soap that we can bathe with, and I would be perfectly happy with it. I would love it because I do love my soap. I'm very proud of my, my recipe. I worked for a very long time formulating this recipe. Um, but it has become such a passion for me that it's more about, it's more than just soap now. This is about um, art for me. I love creating. I love making soap. I have four special needs children and some days are not easy. And this is a way that I can go and you know, this is this is therapeutic for me. This is my getaway, my escape. So anyway, my point is is yes, this is a technique. What is this? Uh, I can't even think of what it was called. The person who uh, started. I can't remember their name either. The person who first started doing this swirl. I'm not going to copy what she does exactly because, like I said. I will now make it my own, and um, that's what I encourage everybody else to do. Make it your own. So, like I recently did some butterfly swirls, which the heated, you know, started the whole butterfly swirl um, technique there. And I've gotten butterfly swirls before, by quite by accident. I know other soapers you have as well, you know, and um, it was fun to do, fun to try. But I really just enjoy sticking to my own thing. There's no expectation, no disappointment. You know, this is not going to, have, I have no idea if this is going to look like it did the first time I did it. And I don't care. Because right now I am enjoying myself. And I know that I am actually pouring down both sides of my divider here. And I still don't care. this white because this white has gotten so thick. I'm just gonna I wanted some thin stripes but not gonna get them so that works and that is awesome. If you're a soaper, you know, be inspired by other soapers, but let your own creative juices flow. Don't, whoa, don't copy somebody else. Timer ran out. That's my cue to quit preaching here. So I think now I'm just going to pull this out. This is not how I made this soap the first time. And if that's okay. Pardon my arm. I'm just trying to scrape soap off of here. Because you know me, I don't like to waste soap. Probably could have swirled a little bit more, but okay. I didn't have a place to put that. Hmm. Let's just 
top with this now. <laughs> I'm giggling over my, my daughter. She pulled her little toy and I said, this is a horse. And she said, yay. She's starting to say words and it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to scrape this out here. So the scent on this, um, I don't think I talked about the, that. It is definitely masculine. You smell this and there is no doubt that this is intended to be a man's fragrance. Um, at least that's my opinion. I have had some women who say, oh, I love this, I want to use this. It's very spicy. And I think it has a hint of a cologne. Let me make sure you can see. Gosh, I hope you could see what I was doing before. I think it has a hint of a cologne, um, cologne undertones to it, but it's not like that sickeningly, um, overpowering aftershave that makes you want to vomit because, you know, somebody bathed in it, cologne kind of thing. In case you haven't, <laughs> in case you can't tell, I'm not a big fan of cologne or people who think it's okay to bathe in cologne. But, um, I like the scent. I, I don't mind this when my husband uses this. Because I think it is a nice smelling scent. I don't think this green is as green as I wanted. Maybe it'll change. It usually does. But anyway, um, it's not one that I want to smell like. That I like more girly scents myself. But it is one that I want my husband to smell like. So, ladies, you need this one for your husband. Um, I call this soap, and I think I said this already, Kyo. And I can't think of the fragrance description off the top of my head, but it is on my website, stargazersoaps.com. Um, I do have, like, one bar in stock, so I know that it is up. It is there. I know it has notes of, like, black pepper, and it might have some musk undertones, but like I said, they're not, you know, over, it's not sickening. I only use fragrances, I get to ask this a lot, I only use fragrances that we will use in our home. I have made batches before by request, or some that people say, oh, I love this scent, why don't you have this, you know, trying to make people happy, and they don't sell because if I don't like them, it's harder for me to go, oh, you have to have this. I mean, so I have decided that I'm only going to soak fragrances and make products that we're going to use in our own home. That is the whole purpose of my, of what I do. I started doing this for my family, and I advertise, or I advertise, I talk about how um, we use everything here in our home. And if it's a fragrance that I think is like, ugh, well, we're not going to use that, so then I'm not staying true to my my philosophy. So, and that is extremely important to me. So, I'm only going to use fragrances that I like, and I recognize I'm going to miss some fragrances that people enjoy, and that's okay. There are a lot of soapers and a lot of options, um, and not everybody's going to like the same scents that I do, and that's okay. But I soap for my family first. So anyway, this is Kyo, and it will be cured around February 28th, 2015. Don't go anywhere though, I will post the cutting video on the back half, back half, the back, okay, don't go anywhere, I will post the cutting video at the end of this one. Okay, here is Kyo, what are you doing? Sorry, my daughter's behind me trying to kill herself. Knocked over the taxes. <laughs> oh, Kyo got hard. 
Interesting, it was one of the last ones that I made yesterday. Okay, there is one end and the other. Oops, that's like almost like it was going to fall over there. And the first piece here. And not exactly what I was going for. The swirls are not as thin. Let me show you. This was Kyo the last time. That's what I was going for this time. But paint hey, still works. I really like it. Good. This one smells really good. Um, you know, like I said yesterday, me, I don't want to smell like this one, but I want my husband to. I told him last night, that last night, and he, he laughed at me. <laughs> but it's true. I like this one. <laughs> so that last bar I have there, he might steal. You, know, you never know. This is what I was talking about yesterday, though. So I have bars that look like this. And this is what they looked like last time that I made it. And no two batches are ever the same. And that's okay. Uh, I knew that this one wasn't going to turn out the way that I wanted because my white got so thick. And, uh, you know, works for me. So that one's cool. Anyway, this is Kyo. It will be cured March 1st, 2015 and available at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.